Women's lives are on the line now. I ask Republicans if you would want to be denied care for a miscarriage or forced to continue with a non-viable pregnancy, a dead baby growing in your belly. What if you were Deborah Dorbert of Florida or she's one of your loved ones, your sister, your wife? The young mother's baby was diagnosed with a fatal fetal abnormality. Would you force her to carry the hopeless, high-risk pregnancy to term and then tell her to watch her baby struggle and die? Because that happened because of a state that now has a six-week ban. On March 3rd, her son Milo died in her arms shortly after he was born, just as doctors predicted. She told media outlets, he gasped for air a couple of times. I watched my child take his first breath and I held him as he took his last. What if Samantha Cassiano of Texas was your daughter, your sister, or your wife, or even you, if you can imagine? 20 weeks into Samantha's pregnancy, she was told by doctors that only part of her baby's brain and skull were forming and the fetus would not survive long after childbirth. Would you be so cruel as to tell her that she would have to go on with her pregnancy, five months of pregnancy, knowing her baby would die. She ended up spending the remainder of her pregnancy raising money for the inevitable funeral. Her baby, Halo, lived for just four hours. You know, when um, women are in this situation, when they're forced to carry abnorm fetal abnormalities to term, they often can't have children again. A termination in many cases preserves a woman's ability to bear a child again. So let me get this straight. You support sterilization of women by denying them the health care they need. How depraved are you? And I just want to ask Republicans, what if you were Christina Zilke? who was in Ohio when she started to miscarry because of that state's six-week abortion ban, the ER wouldn't treat her miscarriage. Can you imagine being told by the hospital that it needed proof that there was no fetal development? Can you imagine in real time that as you are miscarrying, you're bleeding, you're in pain, you're scared. Can you imagine being told to leave the ER, the very place that you go to get help, to get health care? Imagine bleeding out, bleeding profusely, and you're told to get out. And then later, the blood is running down your legs, all down your legs to your shoes. What would you be saying to yourself about abortion if this was happening to you, to your body? Christina, by the way, was only given a procedure to help her when it was deemed by the hospital that her life was in danger and her family recounted watching her almost die. This and much more is happening right now in real time to women across the country. These are real stories horror stories that Republicans have inflicted on women across the country because of their ant antiquated, unrealistic, highly judgmental, and ill-informed view of what it means to have the right to an abortion. I have a message to women and to men out there who love them. We cannot wait for things to change. We can't wait for someone to do this for us. As these people, these Republicans, take us back 50 years and beyond, call them out, call their offices, email them, find candidates to run, support those candidates. You know what? Damn it, run for office yourself, and for God's sake, vote them out.